Welcome back to another Zyverse tutorial. Um, today we'll be making um, a Raspberry Pi and Ultrasonic sound sensor distance measuring system. So we're going to be connecting up this HRC HCRSR04. Sorry, and yeah, so we're going to be measuring some distance. So the first thing you want to connect is a VCC on your um, Ultrasonic sound sensor to the positive row on the breadboard. So there we go. And then next we're going to be wanting to connect the positive rail on the breadboard to the 5 volt pin on the Raspberry Pi. This will work for both the Raspberry Pi 1, which we're using in this video, and the Raspberry Pi 2 and 3. So don't you worry about that. Next of all, we're going to be connecting the ground pin on the Raspberry Pi to the ground rail on the breadboard. There we go, let's put that one in there. And then get another jumper cable. And put it from um, the ground rail. Sorry, not the ground rail. The um, ground pin to the ground rail on your sensor. So it should look like this. Right. Uh, you will, we will be using some resistors in this video. A 330 ohm and a 470 ohm one. Right. So next we're going to be connecting up the GPIO 18 to trigger the trigger pin on the ultronic sound sensor. There we go. And then for echo it's a little bit more complicated. So we're going to be connecting it to GPIO 24. Um, and plugging it into the breadboard in a random place. Because we're going to um, be having some resistors. So the first resistor is the um, you're going to want to connect is between the that uh, the um, breadboard and the ground rail on the breadboard, and that's going to be a 470 ohm one. And then you're going to want to connect your other one, which is the 330, between um, the a breadboard and the sensor. As you can see, that's what I've done here. Make sure that none of the metal is touching each other, apart from through the breadboard, obviously. And there you go. Almost done. Sorry, it's a bit fiddly. I've done it so far apart. There you go. As you can see, I've connected. So all four of our pins are connected to the Raspberry Pi. And to the um oh, just like sound sensor. So there we have it. Okay, so for the next part of the video we will be using Pussy to connect to our Raspberry Pi. So you're gonna to want to type in your Raspberry Pi's IP address, so mine is 192.168.11.45. So when you click enter you'll be greeted with this following screen, and you're gonna to want to type in Pi, which is the default Pi username, and then your password. And then hit enter. And we should be connected. There you go. So, first command we're going to want to type is sudo um, make directory. So that's mkdir. And then we're going to do slash home slash pi slash ultrasound. So this is where we're going to um, keep all the files that we're using this um, tutorial. Hit enter. And we're going to change directory to that folder. So we're going to do cd slash home slash pi slash ultrasonic. And that should move us over to that folder. As you can see, we've got the 
slash ultrasonic now has appeared in blue and we're going to want to open our program which is sudo nano ultrasound dot py because we're going to be writing this code in python hit enter and there we go this is our coding window so import because we're going to be importing rpi dot gpio as gpio there we go and then we're going to import pi we're going to be needing this so gpio dot set mode there we go and then open bracket gpio dot bcm and then close bracket another new line we're going to do gpio underscore trigger so we're going to be depending our trigger pin on the um ultrasonic sound sensor and we're going to be set to 18 didn't we 18 and then we're going to be defining our echo oops <laughs> my bad underscore echo there we go and that equals um, 24. Right. So GPIO dot setup. GPIO trigger. And we call GPIO. So we'll be setting trigger to an output. Then we do GPI dot whoops setup. Open brackets GPIO underscore echo. We do comma GPIO dot in. And then close bracket. So that's defined um, echo as an input. And we're going to be defining distance. Open brackets, close brackets, because that's our new function. And then tab, we do GPI dot output. Um, open brackets, GPI underscore trigger, comma, true. So that's turned on the output to the trigger. And then Tab time dot sleep oops um open bracket zero point zero 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 one close brackets so this is taking our reading GPI dot output open bracket GPI underscore trigger comma false so then we turned off the output and then hit tab start time equals time dot time and then open the brackets close brackets so that's our function from the time library and stop time equals oops time dot time and then a new line we can do while gpio is um dot input um what we have to do next oh yes uh, open brackets and close brackets and then in the brackets we do gpi underscore echo and then equals double equals because we're going to be checking whether it's equal to something equal to zero in this case and then hit tab twice because we're going to be going even so start time equals time dot time GPIO dot input. 
and we're gonna just open the brackets in GPI underscore here and equal to here it goes with this first and equals one we're gonna want to do stop time equals oops time dot time oops <laughs> So my typing today. <laughs> um, time elapse equals stop time. Take away start time. So that's showing us how much time it took for the um, sound to be received from the, for the echo. And then we know distance equals time elapsed. Times by oops, 343,000. Sorry, 34,300. <laughs> and then close your brackets and then I'm going to divide that by 2 because we're gonna, that's going to be the distance going there and I'm back and we only want the distance going there new line return distance there we go and then we're going to do one final line if underscore underscore name Underscore equals underscore underscore main. Two more underscores, and then we're going to want to close the quotation. Put a semicolon. Hit enter and tab. We do try. Hit tab. While true. while true and then hit enter and tab 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 so I'm going to put this this equals distance and then open back and close brackets because we're going to be calling a function and then we're going to want to print measuring oh, measured Equals um, we want to do percentage sign dot one f centimeters there we go and then percentage time disc we have to put that um, the percentage sign dot one f uh, to make sh to display the sentence clip. And um, since all the time stuff is okay, and then we need time dot sleep one. So every second it's going to be taking a reading of the distance. And then we do accept. Okay, so we've just okay, so we're going to do accept. Keyboard. And we do interrupt. So this is when we're killing the f um, program because it will it will go on forever basically. Um, so we're going to make it so that we have the keyboard interrupt. So we're going to accept keyboard interrupt. Um, print measurement. Oops, stopped by user. Dot dot dot. And then close your brackets as well. And then we do GPI dot cleanup. There we go. And then we're going to do save in it. So we're going to do Control X, Y, and then Enter. Next, we're going to need to run it. So we're going to go sudo python ultrasound 
.py. Oh no, I've misspelled the laps, haven't I? <laughs> Sorry for all those who follow my mistake. And there we go. So there's only the fence. <laughs> 